Just hours after church members packed a truck full of donations meant for foster kids, a group of thieves broke in. As News 13's Brittany Bade reports, a local business is trying to help get all those donations back. They broke the window and unlocked the door. And then the thieves took everything they could get their hands on. It was terrible. We, Amy you know, Kendrick runs El Ranchito de los Niños, a group foster home in Los Lunas. We were um, designed to keep brothers and sisters together. On Sunday, church members at Our Lady of the Annunciation near Wyoming and Manal packed this van full. It's filled up usually at least three quarters of the way. Of hygiene items and cleaning supplies for the home. We do six loads of laundry almost every day. And so you can imagine how much laundry detergent that that takes um, just to keep the house running and keep the kids in clean clothes. And that night, a couple of crooks smashed the window and took everything out of the van. And it took them about 18 minutes to completely clear out the van. When a local business heard about the break-in, they decided to help fill the van back up. It's just really sad to hear that somebody who's trying to do good for the community gets taken advantage of like that. Andrea Zamora works at Rebel Donut. All righty. They are now collecting donations for El Ranchito right. at both of their locations. We want to give back to El Ranchito what they were giving to the community. As upset as Kendrick is about the thieves taking everything. When something like this happens, it's a tragedy. She is just as thankful for all the people already stepping up to help her kids. I like to stay positive and, and really see the best in people. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. There is surveillance video of the theft. The church would not release it to us, but are cooperating with police. For the next week, Rebel Donuts East and West Side locations will be accepting donations during business hours.